The floral midi dress is dead. Long live the floral midi dress, says John Lewis. Then the Guardian newspaper who reported on this, the author in that article said, and I will quote this, Ferrer isn't wrong about the trend's saturation. A floral midi dress and trainers has become the de facto uniform across the country. So obviously this is about the UK. Not sure if this is a trend in your country. Please do let us know down below. But I noticed this last year when I went up to London for, you know, just to meet some friends. And I was wearing trousers and some sandals. But in front of me were three ladies on an escalator. And I actually took um, their photo, but I can't find it. I'd love to find it and show you. But I took the photo because they were wearing, they were also going out for lunch, and they were wearing floral midi dresses and trainers. And I just thought just how how much uniform that is. And though I love my white trainers, you know I do. I've been saying this in plenty of videos and recommending them, but I'm not wearing them really with a midi dress. I wouldn't not wear them with a midi dress. It's just that if I'm wearing a midi dress, I'm tending to wear sandals in the summer rather than trainers. But I do love my white trainers with shorts and I love them with chinos and jeans and trousers and smart trousers and casual wear and so on. And I wouldn't not wear them with a dress. So where does that leave us, John Lewis? And one dress suggested was this. Right, that giggle out of the way. Where does that leave us? Looking for midi dresses that aren't floral. So, how easy is that to find? I tell you, it's not. I recently did a Marks and Spencer's haul and I was looking for dresses. I could not find anything that was still in stock that was not a floral. Going through John Lewis's site and Nordstrom site, so I struggled, but I have found you some. So, first of all, I'm gonna do John Lewis, then I'll come on to Nordstrom and Nordstrom will be at this timing. So what have I found at John Lewis that you could snap up now that is not a floral midi dress? A plain navy dress. Now this one, it's all in the shape. It's not in the color. There's no floral, there's no pattern here. Although this is a lovely dress. Some of the fashionistas recently have been saying high-low hems, which of which this is, are not in style at the moment. Now you could say, actually, I don't care. That's a nice dress and it's probably not gonna date. And I actually think the attract hemline is attractive. I personally think the hemline's attractive. And although fashionistas say high-low is out of date, so if you want to be a purist, you wouldn't necessarily go for this. But if you think, actually, I love that, I think it's an attractive hemline, and it's an attractive dress, this is perfect, it's not a floral. John Lewis said that actually, other patterns we can be wearing, we can wear botanicals, we can be wearing leaves, we can wear sticks, we can wear sticks of celery, we can wear tweaks as designs, you know? Basically, botanicals are okay. This is not a botanical, obviously, it's green, the green. But this is a bit of a boho style dress. I think it's attractive. It's got some detail on it in the um, stitching. Another alternative that is not gonna date. Here is a very pretty dress. And coming up in another video, I'm gonna be saying how much, how many red dresses I've got. And that fact, I've, I seem to have an awful lot of summer red dresses. But one of my red dresses from Bowden is an awful lot like this dress here and I love it. It just sort of skims my figure. It's a nice length. Um, it's an attractive pattern, a non-aging pattern. And I bought my dress that was a li little like this two or three years ago. It's not gonna date. It's a dress that you can buy for the summer and put it away for many summers to come. Plus, if you have got red sandals or you've got a red bag, you need a red dress. Now that dress was figure hugging. Though if you, so if you've got a slightly fuller figure or you've got tummy issues, maybe want to look at this as an alternative, plain navy. It's gonna be slimming because it's one solid color all the way down and it's got room and give around it to be hiding any lumps and bumps you might have as well. Then there's a sleeveless teal dress. That's quite attractive as well. It's got a geometric design on it. Uh, shirt dress, I believe, in the, in the sense it's got buttons up and up. And then what I consider to be a classic loose summer dress is this sort of dark tealy colour. You see how it drapes and gives that impression of being cool, you know, and it's covering your arms to here. So the upper arms are a little bit covered. It's giving some loose, a loose vibe so it's not st stuck to your skin. To me, this is your classic summer dress that you can wear to the beach, you can wear to a barbecue, you can wear um, to town, you could wear out to lunch. Now, going on to Nordstrom for the US and Canada, 
that is a sort of a white dress with some geometric design on it. So if you didn't hear my earlier part when I was doing the John Lewis piece, saying that John Lewis was saying that botanicals are okay, geometric designs are okay. So it's not, not ruling out patterns, it's merely those florals they, they were ruling out and so saying we need to move on from. So a geometric pattern like this is the type of design that they're edging us towards. So this is one option for you. And then you've got your statement dress with some gold in it, gold and teal, dark teal. This is a dress you could buy and wear for many years to come for a special occasion in the summer. So your evening out dress or your lunch out or your maybe wedding reception, evening wedding reception type dress, the dancing part, you know, that, that type of dress. This is your summer party dress. And just buy it and you've got it. You've got it for many years, you know, bring it out and wear it. Plain green shirt dress. Funnily enough, this is Topshop in the UK. Now it doesn't appear in my John Lewis website. I picked this dress because it kind of gives that coastal vibe, doesn't it? You know, the ivory and the blue, I think it's that coastal grandmother vibe. It's your beach, you're gonna to go, to, go to the beach, you're going to Maine, you're going to um, Hilton Head Island, or you're gonna summer in the city barbecues and so on. Stripes, vertical stripes, slimming. No one can criticize a vertical stripe. And um, there's nothing on trend about it, so it's not gonna date. Then if you prefer black and white, we've got a geometric design in your black and white midi dress. A beige, very attractive style. All of the, the detail here is in the style. It's not in the pattern, there's no pattern. Plain dress but I think the cinching in at the waist and the shape of the dress is very flattering, even flattering for full figures and slim figures as well, because the shape of the material is gonna flatter a fuller figure as well as a slim figure. And uh, yeah, I think this is a wonderful option that again, won't date, it's, it's gonna be fine for years to come.